Hello there. In today's video, I'm going to explain some of the main concepts and terminology in English phonetics and phonology. This includes letters and sounds, sounds and phones, phones and phonemes, English phonemes, consonants and vowels, and this includes single vowels and diphthongs. Phonetics is the scientific study of human speech sounds, and we need to distinguish between letters and sounds. Letters are written digits, while sounds are spoken. Letters are not always the same for sounds. For example, the letter F stands for the sound F, while the letters P and H also stand for the same sound F. Also, the letter S stands for the sound S in cats, but stands for the sound Z in his. Sounds and phonemes. Phoneme is the smallest unit of sound that can distinguish two words. So the word fan is different from the word man in one unit of sound, which is the f sound. Man is different from fan in one unit of sound, which is the f sound. In this way, we say that the f is a phoneme. And the same true for the phoneme me that can distinguish man from fan. So we say that the fair sound in fan and the me sound in man are different phonemes of the English sound system. Some English phonemes have different pronunciations or linguistic realizations. For example, the phoneme p and stop is pronounced with less exclusion. We say stop. We don't say stop. We say stop, while the phoneme p and put is pronounced with high seclusion. We say put, put. So in a stop, the p has less seclusion, while it is more seclusive in put. In this way, we say that the phoneme p has two elephants or, ha or has two linguistic or phonetic realizations, which are p and p. We say stop. We don't say stop. We say stop. But we say put. Put. English phonemes. You know that we have we have many Englishes. We have the um, Cockney. We have the Welsh, and uh, we have Scout um, uh, accents. The one we consider in this course is called the received pronunciation, or the BBC English. And the C pronunciation is the typical British accent or the standard British pronunciation. English C pronunciation has about 44 phonemes, the smallest units of the sound system. And these include 24 consonants and about 20 vowels. What are the consonants? The consonants are speech sounds articulated with complete or partial obstruction of the stream or vocal tract. This means that when we pronounce the consonants, the air coming out of our lungs or mouth is in some sort obstructed. For example, we say peer, we say bear, we say tear, we say deer, gear. Look when we say gear, we obstruct the air for some time and then we release the air. We say gear. When we say fear, we obstruct the air to pronounce the first sound. We say fear, we say fee. You can see here when we pronounce the P sound, we see that the air is obstructed for some time and then it is released. We see P, 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 P. So we obstruct the air and then we release it. However, vowels are speech sounds articulated without complete or partial obstruction of the stream or vocal tract. And this means when we articulate vowels without we articulate vowels without blocking the stream coming from our lungs and mouths. Uh, uh, you need to know that vowels uh, can be single, single vowels, uh, monophthong, they are 12, and diphthongs 8. And later on, we have what's called the triphthong. You can see in this, uh, in this gif how we pronounce the, the A ah sound. Look, there is no obstruction of the We say A. Ah. A. Ah. There, no there is no obstruction of the S string. Single vowels or monophthongs 
a vowels which refer to one letter vowel sound. Um, these are, uh, or this could be short vowels and long vowels. Uh, so single vowels can be short and long. And in simple words, short vowels are vowels pronounced with short period of time. We say e, a, o, u, e, e, and a. And these are called short vowels. Short vowels because uh, they require a short period of time in pronunciation. Say sit. However, long vowels, uh, which are indicated by the column, are pronounced with long period of time. We say e. Here we say sit, and here we say feed. E, e. We say rat. A. We say car. A. We say hot. A. And we say door. O. We say cook, o, and we say moon, o. We say a, and, and we say a, hat. These are called long short vowels or long single vowels because they require um, um, a long period of time and pronunciation. Diphthongs are a combination of two vowels. For example, we have a and stay. And uh, this one is called diphthong because it has two uh, two phonemes. A, stay, I, oi, I, I, oi, and boy. We have ear, like fear, ear. We have air, like tear. And we have o, like tour, o, tour. And we have ow, like how. Ow, and we have O, go, A, I, oi, air, air, u, ow, l. Thank you very much, and please stay tuned for future works, and you can.